at, look at, look at a, a, a foolish BBC trying to tell us suddenly you don't preach Jesus in BBC. Stupid Christians are listening to that trash. I, I, I don't care whether it's real or not. I care less. Show me one day you have allowed any preacher to preach in business. In, in business. BBC. I'm telling you, ask, ask them. They don't preach Jesus in BCC or, or BBC. You know, I can't even call it because I care less about those channels. If Christians are wise, how dare you listen to a channel that never preached Jesus? A channel that never propagate Christ. Then suddenly they care for us to not tell us that a dead man is a false prophet. We are not stupid. We, I say we are not stupid. You don't have to tell us who is false. You don't have to tell us who is real. Leave us. We have the Holy Spirit. We have the summit of spirit. Don't insult our kingdom. In as much as we have childish Christians all over the world. Babies who don't know their left and right. They're coming to tell us that the dead man is a witch. Can't leave that man to rest. Even in his, in, in, in his grave, he's still great. That man is great. This is greatness to the highest. When he was alive, they hated him. They fought him. And suddenly he dies. They are still fighting him. What type of a man is this? That sounds more like Christ-like. I don't care what his previous histories were. This man called on the name of Jesus. He preached Christ. He led millions of people to Christ. He helped people. He didn't build a one billion sitters church. Rather, he used money and helped the less privileged. So sit down. Sit down. He had sex. He had sex with women. He had sex with women. Uh, as though those women didn't enjoy the sex with time. <laughs> Fools. Foolishness. I'm not here to say he did it or did he, 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 he didn't. Do you know how many times women have tried to seduce me? Now, if I had fallen into it, tomorrow they will come and say, it's, it's him. Do you know how many times women threw themselves to me? Made suggestions. Even one came and brought her breast out. I had to run like Samson. He says, no, 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 no. Joseph. <laughs> Samson went into it. One beautiful young girl came to my office and brought her breast out. You know, please, please, I love you. I said, Holy Ghost, fire! <laughs> Do you know how many times top people in this country have sent young girls, they disguise them to come and see me, to seduce me, so that I can be the next big deal on the BBC. And Christians, listen to those junks. A channel that never preached Jesus suddenly wants to convince you that a man of God is a witchcraft. No, we are wise. We know better. 
I don't know him. I've never met him. But the way they attacked him, the idea, the whole idea of fighting this man, the Holy Spirit told me why. Because in the vision, he told me that this is the year of the dragon's war with the woman. Satanism, Satanism, Satan and the world power have ganged up to unify one universal church. So they have released billions of dollars to castigate, accused, top, reasonable, reputable men of God across the world. What you're seeing on TB Joshua is just a trial and it's a, a foundation they are setting. Very soon, you will hear about the next one. Billions have been paid to these powerful TV stations. Other interviews are happening behind the scene. I know the next man they're about to pick up. There's another one coming. Watch. A big man of God that you know will be picked up again. So it's not about TB Joshua. The vision God showed me was the vision of the woman that was caught in adultery. The woman that was accused in adultery was not the very reason for which they wanted to kill her. No, that was a trap against Jesus. So don't think that TB Joshua is the reason for this castigation. No, the target is the church. And if the church falls so woefully, so weakly to this scam, the next one will rise. Yes, the woman committed adultery. Yes, the law was against her. But the whole scenario was not against her. It was to use it to hold Jesus to trap Jesus. And this is the vision God showed me. The church must close their ears to nonsense. If our fathers have made mistake, it is the responsibility of sons, of their sons to cover their nakedness. I believe in the covering of fathers. Amen. We are a nation. We are a people. We are Christians. We are believers in Christ. We are royalty. We are peculiar people. We are sons of God. We are not of this world. The world has no right to judge us. The world has no right to judge our fathers. Even though you don't believe in TB Joshua, who asked you to believe in him? At what point from Genesis to Revelation we are we commanded to believe in the man? He is just an instrument. Whether he was used by God or whatever, at least we knew he preached Jesus. And, and guess what? When Jesus was told that some other folks who were not of the fold of Jesus were preaching Jesus, then Peter said, should we stop them? Jesus said, no, don't stop them, allow them. For they are not against us. They are for us. Even though if T.B. Joshua is a wizard, he didn't turn against Jesus. He preached Jesus. I didn't say he's a wizard. But even though you think he is, he preached Jesus. He healed the sick. He helped the poor. He stood for the needy. They are waiting for me to speak. I've spoken. Yeah. 
What will born servant of Christ say? Make sure you say what I say. If you cut nonsense and put what you want to show people, curse will be upon your generations. I didn't come to show mercy, for this is the hour of judgment. BBC, a warning. Don't you ever in the history of your existence open your dirty mouth to talk about men of God. Do your job as a, as a reputable or channel, whatever you broadcast. Leave, take your filthy mouth of men of God. Leave us to our struggles. Leave us to our faith. Leave us to our belief. You don't guarantee our eternal salvation. If BBC were fair enough, you should have at least had the wife interviewed alongside. All the points that you have validated on your channel you should have also called some of the wise men. If you had five people you interviewed that spoke against the man of God, you also should find five people that should be able to respond to the things that these folks are saying. Then we should also look at the habits, the character, the flaws, of these same people who accused the man of God. That is the integrity of a reputable broadcasting channel. If you were not paid, how could you show one side? Where is the fairness? Insulting a man that has died, that cannot defeat, that cannot defend himself. That means you're cowards. Cowards! Don't let me release fire from heaven. We fear no man. Enough is enough. I am the bond servant of Christ. Try me. You see the wrath of God. Let me vomit. Because I'm angry. Suddenly, satanic channels want to tell us who is a first man of God. And fools that call themselves Christians believe and listen to those trash. So called Christians are listening. How many, how many heads of states have raped women? The issues that they have what we call immunity and power. How many men that are in power that have aborted children sleeping with small, small girls? Go catch them in the clubs, in their parties. Using their money to influence young girls. That's a form of rape. So you think you, you can hold somebody else's for the things that you're also guilty of. Jesus said, if you have no sin, be the first to cast the stone. Guess what? All of them went out. They were convicted. Hey, look at him. See, see what he's done. Crucify him. See what he's done. See what he's done. See what he's done. You, what have you done? I had one 
you know, when I'm angry this way. One teacher that, called, that claimed himself to be a teacher said, gave a challenge. If you're a man of God, you've never slept with another woman. Come, come out and say it. I can say it boldly. Say, really? So look at that is boast. Pride from the pit of hell. Because yes. that's your filthy righteousness. And it does not amount to anything before God. Because even though you think you have not done it, it is by his grace and righteousness that empowered you not to. But here's my take in such type of nonsense words. My take there is, if you claim you have not done it physically, have you done it in your imaginations? Come out and tell us that you have not lost it after any woman. Jesus told us what real fornication is. So maybe no one has told you that if you have not committed it physically, you have committed it in your thoughts. You have committed it in your eyes. Oh, he says, if any man lusts after a woman, he has committed fornication. So, sir, you are still guilty of the same thing. Instead of preaching Christ, you are preaching yourself. Yeah, I have not done my man again. I'm giving a challenge. So you are that man before. It's a matter of what? Time. Because he has spoken arrogantly. Grace will be depleted. Mark my words. It's a matter of time. It might delay because he will hear it. This part one that will come out and he will hear it. And then he will fight not to go. But he will. Because there's a way, except he comes out publicly and apologizes. Something will be lifted from you to humble you. You don't take pride in your self-righteousness to challenge other men of God. You don't do that. That is completely filthy, prideful, and unrighteousness. It's unrighteous. God can purge man. God can cleanse man. Are you hearing me? A murderer became the greatest apostle of the time. The killer became the mightiest man that ever lived in the history of the church. Are you hearing me, sons of God? May God give us anointing this season to stay strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Amen. May peradiv and aniotoshes krabana beda vandiyosht shavaridosht in the name of Jesus Christ. The church is stronger than ever. Like I said to me, like I said to you, they are planning. There's a plot. There's a strong plot to destabilize the nation of Christ. They want to have, there's a law. They are doing these things to pass a law, a global law. They want to raise these dusts. If we don't do anything, if we, if we don't validate this nonsense, it will not happen. If we pray, it will not. They, they want to pass a law. There is that something coming. This is purely plotted. But they don't know that we are ahead of them. I said, we are ahead of them. Oh, come on. I said, we are ahead of them. The Bible says, if the princes of this world had known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. I said, if they, if they had known, if BBC had known, oh, if this blood.
bloggers have known they would not have been castigating men of God and exposing their natural human flaws. Even as mighty as Noah, he messed up. He got drunk, became naked, did all kinds of nonsense to himself, lost it for the moment. A wise son came in. The foolish, there will always be two sons. The prodigal one and the real ones. It's always there. Ishmael and Isaac, it will always be there. Ah, hey, hey, there's one that is prodigal. Hmm? That stupid one, that stupid one came in and saw the nakedness of, of the Pharisee. I told you, he is not a man of God. He smoked weed. He's a fool. He laughed at the weakness of the man of God. Are you hearing me? And then he went and announced it to his eldest brother, the one that was wise. So how dare you? He ran. When he got to the doorpost, the Bible says he turned his back and entered, closed his eyes, picked the clothes, covered the father, took him up to the bed, protected his nakedness. He said, I will not. My eyes are not for the nakedness of my father. My ears are not to hear the witnesses of my father. Because I know him. I know of his greatness. I knew when he heard God. I knew when he obeyed God. He built the ark. He walked hard. When others didn't believe, he believed. So I know the history of my father. Yes, I know in the process he's messed up. But I know this is not who he is. Whatever that could have led him to do this, I don't understand. It is between him and his God. But I will protect him. These are the kind of songs we need in this last days. This is scripture, not sentiment. Scripture. The church must be educated. The word doesn't mean well for us. And that's why I keep warning. Let's not disgrace ourselves. Before you become a minister, kill your private part. Kill your confessiousness. Don't be stupid. I've told people. That's why I don't easily empower people on the pulpit. If I don't know you're dead, I can't empower you. Imagine me sleeping with, with women here. It's an insult. I can't do that. I can never do that. But when some have done it, what do we do? We can't crucify them. They, they are preachers of Jesus. They belong to the, to, to the fraternity of Christianity. We must protect ourselves. The world is looking for something to destabilize us, to, to, to infuse confusion amongst us, to infuse division amongst us, not to believe in Jesus. At what point do we say we believe in men? He says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. So if you're a man of faith, who do you look to? The author. Who is he? Jesus. And who is he? The author. Meaning the beginning and the end of our faith. So that means you begin with him, you end with him. Yeah. That's what it is. The gift of God is without repentance. There are men who carry some gifts that may not have repented in some areas, which their flaws will catch up with them in the future. But thank God, there is a new move coming. Amen. That one is where I showed you in Timothy. He said, if any man shall purge himself, there is a final use of the master. 
that one emitted the characters. Pramepete city video. You would be dead to anything called flesh. You will not be found wanting. They cannot buy you with money. They cannot buy you with their private parts. They cannot buy you with their false beauty, painting left and right. They cannot do, they can't get you. No, I'm not kidding. They can't buy you. They can't buy you with their powers or their influences. They can't. They can buy you with their fame. Because you don't want to be famous. When they put money on your hands, you feel disgusted. You throw it back into the kingdom. You don't know, you don't fit in here. Do you know that anything I have, I don't even know what it means. No, even if I enter my car, I'd feel nothing. I feel, I'm dead to these things, this thing you call, I'm not here, I'm lost. Oh, what he does. What are you talking about? Receive the fire that purifies. Receive the fire that purifies. Receive the fire that purifies. Oh, my Shahid about us.